Hello, welcome to another tutorial from Glaze Folio Design Blog. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make interesting line patterns in Illustrator. Um, you see this kind of effect a lot on uh, screensavers, and uh, I think I also saw them uh, recently in some mobile phone advertising. I'm not sure exactly which one, but the first thing that you want to do to, to make these line effects is uh, open up a new file in an Illustrator, and I'm just I just opened up a plain blank eight and a half by eleven, uh, you know, regular page, and then uh, select your pen tool. You can press P on your keyboard or just select it over here, and uh, go ahead and draw a line. And to make it interesting, make a little curve line, and it, you know it can it can be funky. It doesn't have to really follow any sort of rules at this point. Okay, so you have one line. Go ahead and uh, draw another line. Uh, quite a ways away. Or really wherever you want. But let's do this. Okay, let's just see how that works out. So we have our two lines. What you want to do is select both of them, and then you go to Object, go down to Path, oh, excuse me, go down to Blend, and then go down to your Blend Options. And instead of doing Smooth Color, which mine's set up right now, you want to do Specified Steps, which is the section, second option down. And you can decide how many lines you want in between your two lines uh, in this step. Eight is pretty good. Let's do let's do more. Let's let's add a few more. Let's do let's make it interesting. Let's do twenty. Okay, okay. And you select okay, and then uh, you go back to object, go down to blend, and select make. And that's what you end up with. Um, if if you see how my colors are solid white and then a black outline, uh, you want to make this solid white color. You you do not want a color there, so select none. You just want a stroke, and your stroke can be any color, or it can uh, it can be a gradient. If you want to, uh, if you want to do gradient with your lines, what you do is you select your um, your direct selection tool. You can click it there, or you can press A on your keyboard to get your direct selection tool. And what you'll want to do is you'll cl click on one point of your line, and you uh, select a different color. And what that'll do is that'll make your gradient. That's how you'll make your gradient. So it starts black here, and it ends in this turquoise color down here. Okay. Um, in order to manipulate single lines in this, what you'll want need to do is go to Object, Expand, and uh, I have all these selected, and that's fine. And click OK, and then simply ungroup your selection. So go to Object, Ungroup. And then you should be able to manipulate these individually. So you could delete lines. I'll go and delete every other line or so. So if you if you wanted to make it look like it was going from wide to less wide, that's one thing that you could do. Here, I'll show you. Something like that, and then you know, if there was more lines, it could get really close and then really far away. You can kind of play with it yourself and uh, see what you can do. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. 
Uh, please watch the rest of them. Um, I have some good Photoshop ones as well. Uh, please comment and subscribe to my other videos as well. Um, thanks for watching.